All right, everyone, it's time for Occult Literature, video number 298, Hatha Yoga. This is another Ramacharaka work, Samuel Atkinson, of course. Uh, link in the description to my edition of this work on Amazon. Second and third links are to my books blog. Uh, this is 194 pages in length, so it's it, it's the full-length work. And it's similar to the Nani Yoga and Raja Yoga works that were also written by Atkinson, uh, again, under the pseudonym Yogi Ramacharaka. Uh, this one is sort of a fusion between the two. Like, Raja Yoga was very hands-on. Most of it was, uh, here's what you do to increase mental focus, here's the proper posture, here's a breathing exercise, stuff like that. With Nani Yoga, it was like 90% abstract. It was mostly philosophical, a little bit about history, philosophy, spirituality in general. Uh, and, and, by the way, it was much more Occidental <laughs> in the way it was interpreted. This is a fusion of the two. Now, Hatha Yoga is more physical. It's about the body, mainly. So this is one part calisthenics, one part breathing exercises, and then one part that sort of spiritual philosophy uh, attached therein. It is mostly authentically uh, Eastern in nature, mostly from actual authentic yoga, but you've got to understand that the author, assuming that it is as, as rumored Atkinson, uh, is from a New Thought Western background. He was a prolific author, publisher. He did four works just under this particular pseudonym and had several others. By the way, there is, uh, in the breathing exercises section, part of it is taken verbatim, actually, from a different Ramacharaka work. It appears that he, he plagiarized his own work, effectively. Uh, it's 100% the same for a couple of pages, uh, as the Hindu Yogi Breathing uh, Methods book that I already edited. It's interesting. He does elaborate on it further, and the calisthenic exercises, it's basically like, in the here and now, a lot of people do that sort of thing, but back then it was fairly uncommon. And you gotta understand, a hundred years ago, you had a burgeoning middle class that was becoming literate for the first time. Not that, not a century before, 90% of the population didn't know how to read or write. By this point, about half of people could at least sign their name. And so you had works like this that were easily digestible, academic and philosophical material. You, you had a whole bunch of works at the time on the ancient classics, ancient Greece was a big one, archaeology, uh, grimoires, uh, actually. They, they, they go through sort of a reform period where before they had been very, very uh, top-heavy, very abstract, a lot of talismans and stuff, and they, they got boiled down into more simplistic material by this point. Very interesting work. Highly recommended if you're interested in yoga, uh, or anything attendant to it, keeping in mind, again, while this is more of a hands-on work, some of it is more dense philosophy. Some of it is vaguely outdated new thought, because of who Atkinson is. Uh, and at the same time, it comes fundamentally from a Western background. This, is, this wasn't written by an actual Hindu yogi from India. Uh, it was written by somebody who, if I remember correctly, was from New York. Um, keeping that in mind, it is a good work. Uh, again, 194 pages, so it is a lengthy read. Uh, it's a standard length work, much like Nani and Raja Yoga, and the three of them form uh, sort of a, a fairly good basis for the study of yoga from that vaguely westernized uh, point of view. Again, link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon. Second and third links to my books blogs. This goes under the spirituality header, and you can find all three other Ramacharaka works there as well. That's about all. Peace out.